My next guest is this distinguished diplomat. He's a former businessman. He was the ambassador to Japan, did a heck of a great job, and now he is being punished for his sins by becoming the new senator from Tennessee. I've got a pop question for him right off the bat. Welcome, Senator Bill Haggerty, old friend. Here's my question. Are you ready? What is the single best thing the U.S. Congress can do to launch an economic boom? Well, the first thing we can do is retain the Jobs Tax Cut Act that you worked so hard to put in place under <laughs> President Trump. Back, back in 2017, we got our economy off to, to a huge boom. You brought about a blue-collar boom, Larry, uh, when you, you think about the policies that you and President Trump worked so hard to put in place. Under your leadership, we saw our economy expand faster than any other major economy in the world. Blue-collar workers got a disproportionate benefit from that. Their wages grew faster than white-collar workers. It importantly delivered the best jobs growth ever recorded for minorities. That's the type of thing we need to continue. Deregulation, lower taxes, a more business-friendly climate, and standing up to our opponents like China. Well, Senator Haggerty, uh, you're right. And of course, flattery will get you everywhere with me. We'll put that right on the table. But well, and by the way, Larry, congratulations on the new show. I love it. I'm so honored to be one of your early guests. That's the key point. And you did such a great job for us. We worked together. But look, Bill, I, I got to tell you that I'm going to ask the pop quiz question again. Right now, you've got stimulus and reconciliation and minimum wages and all this rigmarole going through the House and the Senate and Democratic pork bills and whatever. I want to just take it all off the table and say to oh, you, what is the single most important thing you could do to launch and maintain an economic boom which is gestating right now? What is it? Getting vaccines into people's arms, getting kids back to school, yes. and getting parents back to work. Yes. That's what we need to be focused yes. on, Larry. That's I'm it. with you on that. Yes. Yes. I mean, really, here's the bizarre. To me, this is the single biggest story we have in this country today. The odd thing is the Biden crowd is trying to hide the good news. There's a lot of economic good yep. news. But the biggest good news, right, Senator, is the vaccine, which came from Operation Warp Speed, which is now proliferating. You know, they got to think 70 million. Today, uh, the pharma companies came out and they're going to provide 300 million more. Uh, respected scientists, Senator, are suggesting if the pandemic doesn't end this spring or summer, it's going to be rolling down. It will not be a big factor. Yes. To me, let folks alone, let the economy flourish. Let us have the freedom to work and invest before we do any fine tuning. That would be the key. I'm with you on that, Larry. And if you think about what's happened already, four trillion dollars worth of stimulus has been passed. There's still a trillion dollars worth, or close to a trillion dollars, that hasn't even been spent yet. And they're talking about putting another two trillion dollar package in place. Most of which, I think, 95 percent of which I read today, won't even begin to get spent until 2022. Last one, real quick. We, you and I will come back and talk much more about China, Asia, and Japan. But do you believe you were on the China trade team, even though you were uh, ambassador to Japan? Senator, uh, do you believe the Biden crowd will stay tough with China? Will they? No, it's uh, most disappointing. I mean, they need to wake up and understand that China is not just a competitor. China is a key strategic adversary. Yeah. They come at us militarily, they come at us diplomatically, they come at us economically. Whether it's stealing our intellectual property and subsidizing their industries, which takes away American jobs, blue collar jobs, militarily, look at what they're doing right now in the South China Sea and the East China Sea. Yeah. They use their, quote, Coast Guard to run Chinese Chinese uh, battleships, essentially, through Japanese waters and chase off their trawlers. Their aggressiveness in that part of the world is amazing. And we need to be standing up right now, not standing back. All right. Folks, you can see why Senator Haggerty is going to be a big force in economic and foreign policy. Senator, thank you very much. Good luck on you, your Larry. new tenure.